Shut up and sit down. Okay, welcome to part six of the CNC build. Um, so yeah, last week, well, last last week, I skipped a video. Uh, I was in Australia, so I didn't get much done. But since I've been back, I got some stuff done. Um, got the nut for the spindle done. So that's got, uh, let's get close to the camera. It's got uh, two holes there to tighten it. And that one over there is a tapped M6 grub screw that when I tighten it will cause this piece to lift up and lock my nut on my spindle. So that's done, did this with the wire cutter because it's the easiest way to do it for me. Um, then got one of the pulleys made. Yeah, little bloody motor. Uh, that is a J, J section pulley, seven grooves. Um, I ordered my material a little bit short, so instead of 40 mil long pulleys, I got 36 mil long pulleys out of it. So seven, seven ribs instead of eight. That should still transfer more than enough torque. Then why I cut that out? Because I was lazy. Uh, yeah, so that's done. And then I don't know if I really want to lift this. Got the yeah spindle housing painted up. Got the cylinder on it. Yeah. Oh jeez, that's not so heavy. Um, and then I'm gonna go make some of the tool change components. Quick tool change. This is the little levery arm. I'm gonna go drill that, I'm gonna drill the blocks for it as well. They're at the machine. I'm doing it on the manual machine because I don't think I'm setting up the CNC today. Um, so yeah, we're gonna shoot over to the machine and then machine that up. And then there was something else, but I can't remember what it was, so it can't be that important. So yeah, off to the machine.
Unless someone's getting a bush raid, let's go find the bolts. So, saw some footage of me machining the parts, uh, those are done now. I put a bronze push into the, the pivoting piece, uh, this piece. So it's got a bronze bush, it's got an M10 with a shoulder, shoulder through to the other side and holds it nicely. So that pivots. And my cylinder is now in pieces. Um, I am shortening the shaft by 10 millimeters so that I can get full stroke over here. So that can come all the way down and then pivots up. Um, and then I'm going to grind uh, that shape, the dome, but only in one axis. So that my contact isn't point contact, it's actually a line that's contacting my, my push bar. So yeah, that's done. I'm now considering whether I pull the spindle out and take this whole assembly home, or I leave it here until it's done and then only take it home. Um, the motor has to go with me today because I need to work on the VFD's interface. So that's what I'm going to be doing this afternoon and a bit of plumbing in odds and ends. But yeah, the cylinder's in really good condition. It's an old cylinder that I found, but in really, really good condition. Like nothing in the ball, still well greased. So I don't know how well, how long it was used, but it's fine. It will do what I need once I, once I put a bit of grease and reassemble it. Um, yeah, that's the end of part six. Thank you for watching. Uh, please like, subscribe, and hit the notification lobby. Also check out my Instagram. It's Jamie DCO Peacock. Also, there's a link in the description. And yeah, till next week.